All right, this is so reproducible. I thought I'd capture it all in one shot. Let's start with the shorter kahuna. Five strokes and coasts. Notice it slips a little bit. Yeah, I have a hard time with the kahuna when I try and paddle too hard. I coast it out. We'll mark everything with blue tape. I won't get too specific on measurements, but uh, it's a pretty big difference. You'll notice as we go. Mark that puppy. All right, let's get back. Beautiful day for a paddle. Riding the concrete wave. All right, so I have a longer kahuna, solid. Let's give that a try. Bit of five push and a coast. The long one is too long for me. It's, it loses grip. It's just not ergonomic. I haven't put many miles on the kahunas, but the feet wear out like nobody's business. Probably work better if I had a Kong ball on the bottom. But again, if you're gonna do that, you might as well just make your own, right? I didn't even make it as far as the little one, you notice. I came up short. Not exactly what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be much different than the little shorty. Alright, so I've got uh, a Kong ball on the bottom of one of these rattan poles. There might be some special things about different rattans and uh, how they react, but overall I think they're pretty much about the same. Let's do about a five push and a coast. I like the rattans, they're heavy, pretty thick. Can't collapse them, that's kind of painful. But I passed up the kahuna number one. And kahuna number two. I'm leaving a new mark. The rattan really is a better selection than the kahuna and most other solid paddles. But I really like to feel like I'm stand-up paddling, not pushing a gondola the streets of Venice. And the rattan really just doesn't give you that. Rapid tacks are an adjustable carbon, super tidy, super lightweight. Recommend it for the serious paddler. Cruise past Kahuna 1, Kahuna 2. Not quite up there with the rattan. And that's expected. I weigh 205 right now. And a light spring just does not have the ability to push back and respond the way it should. Swap out handles. What I've got here is another Brap Attack. Unfortunately, still a light. But I'm using the Kong Ball um, hack that I showed recently where you uh, can put a small Kong Ball on the end of that thing and get some pretty amazing grip. It's a game changer. Really helps you put more grip down so you can rip it. Let's give it a five pusher and a coast. Again, it's the light spring. Super comfy, no impact. I'm not as responsive as say a medium or in this case a heavy would kill it. I would get great distance with a heavy spring. Cruising past Kahuna long, Kahuna short, wrap stick light with the worn down foot, the Kong ball and rattan set up and making a new mark. Nice.
right, so this one's a little different. It's a custom setup I've got. It's a medium spring. It's got some ergonomic changes. I can run it a little bit taller than I usually do based on how I've got it configured. I haven't used it much, but I thought I'd throw the Kong ball on it, throw it into this video. Notice I go up a clip. Something I can do with this one and I enjoy. I could maybe go two clicks, don't know. But the main thing is this is still the Brap stick. It's an adjustable aluminum with a solid bottom like the Attack and got the Kong ball. And I can fly by the Kahuna long, the Kahuna short. Wrap stick light with the worn down foot. The Kong ball and rattan setup. Medium spring. Still going, still going. Probably another 45, 50 feet. We are maxing out. And again, if I would have had a wrap stick heavy spring, I probably would have killed this one as well. That spring is a lot more responsive for my weight. I just didn't have one set up to throw into this test real quick so like I say it's repeatable this is what I expect each time the kahuna comes in pretty much bottom the rattans definitely are better than the kahunas and step up there and then the brap sticks with the right grip and right spring rate can really put you out there wrap 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 brap sticks <laughs>